so before I get on to showing the film, um, I want to, as you, some of you already know, but myself, Lyndon, and John, who came out with me, is kind of my insurance policy. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, and you know, Lyndon uh, has very uh, kindly uh, invited a number of people along tonight who um, hopefully will get involved in the work we're doing. And I'd like to just let Lyndon say a few words. I was instantly inspired. I came home, I talked to Christine. I said, we have to do what we can to get involved and to help. And all I ask today really is think about sort of our lives, you know, our ordinary lives are if the hot war, if for some reason isn't working, we have a meltdown. And what we're saying today is look inside. People to receive healthcare, sometimes they have to travel four or five hundred miles. Basic services such as running water and uh, uh, a reliable source of power uh, were at best intermittent. I can't use it. No oxygen. There was undoubtedly um, a lot of suffering and undoubtedly a lot of trauma. There were countless stories that were heartbreaking and stories that were, stories that had they occurred in the US or Europe uh, would have had very different outcomes. Treating these problems uh, requires a greater degree of uh, material and resource commitment. There is really no provision uh, for spine surgical services out in the Congo. And to provide a level of service that we feel is going to make a difference. One of the things that the Spine Africa project is looking to do through the raising of uh, charitable funds and donations is to be able to uh, purchase and provide more up-to-date equipment and materials uh, which will allow us to perform um, more sophisticated and complex spinal reconstructions. I think that once we give them care and we give them the possibility to do a normal work, they can recommencer une vie normale.